Hey little pup. <laughs> She's so fast. I know. here daddy's grabbing her little uh bowls so today what are we going to be doing today baby so today guys as you can see uh, we're going to be teaching you guys how to properly fit your frenchie puppy okay. i know we didn't know how to uh, just make sure that you have the right measurements as well as uh some of the little things that you need to focus i know one of the major things in baby girl can, can speak about this, is making sure that you get them allergy tested uh, as soon as you can. That way you figure out what uh, what the puppy is allergic to. Did I just step on dog shit? Yeah, I did. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> this is so funny. <gasps> Please don't tell me it's on the rug. Yeah. <sighs> We're gonna have to be right back because we have some poop to clean. <laughs> this should be fun. What a great start, right? All right, guys, we're back. Uh, <laughs> make sure that you're always uh, wearing some type of footwear when you go to your little backyard or your patio, as well as checking your shit before you go inside the house because I just made a mess. But, yeah, we uh, just finished vacuuming everything and mopping. He said get a puppy, it'd be fun. It's a little fun. But anyways guys, for those of you guys that don't know her, um, a lot of people follow us on, on Instagram. But this is a little baby future. She's a little Frenchie. And we're gonna start doing more videos, uh, educational videos as a process. This is our first Frenchie. I've always had pit bulls my whole entire life and then I decided to switch it up into the Frenchie world to see uh, <clears throat> how they react. So the first thing that we're pretty much just gonna be teaching you how we feed her, uh, so for a puppy, you want to be doing half a cup if you can get you one of these little scoopers that way you know the proper measurement and you want to feed her twice a day so uh also like we were talking about is it's very important that you guys have do the allergy testing for the frenchies because i know my friends own a couple of them some are, some are allergic to uh different foods i know my my boys frenchie is allergic to chicken so you definitely don't want to be uh feeding them the wrong thing. Even though they're extremely cute and beautiful, they are pretty sensitive to a lot of things. For example, the first food that we were giving her, it looked like she, sweet potato and chicken. Mm. She was not liking that at all. We switched her diet to puppy bison and roasted uh, venison. She seems to be doing way better. And we also started adding a teaspoon of uh, your coconut oil, which is really good for her, her coat. As well as, we're going to start introducing uh, this supplement called Dine. We will show you guys in the future. So it's pretty much for puppies or when the dogs are in labor, not in labor, but when a dog is pregnant, it gives them those extra calories and stuff like that to give them, uh, when the puppies are, are growing, they need a lot of calories because they're little bones and stuff like that. They're going to be growing. So with that being said, so yeah, we're using this measuring cup just to make it easier at her age, 10 weeks, being that she's a puppy. She only needs to be fed half a cup. Um, Once a day, right? Two to three times a day. We're doing two. Ooh. Uh, just because of our schedule with hers. So yeah, just measure it. Dang, that seems like a lot. No, I feel the thing up. <laughs> back in there and then you know so we've noticed that every time we whatever amount of water we put in her bowl she basically just drinks it all which is not good for her yesterday she was wobbling and she just had a big old round stomach and I felt kind of bad for her it seemed like it was uncomfortable Hold um, so with that said we're just gonna give her enough that's gonna uh, allow her to wash down her food and then maybe in midday, give her a little bit more. And then obviously with her with her dinner as well. So just a little bit here. We just use regular purified water. 
So we're also gonna give her one teaspoon ooh, of coconut oil. And I just like to drop it in there with her food. Yeah, she looks Aww. Huh? Hola, mama. She must be starving. We gave her some treats, but she's definitely a fat girl. Also, we're going to be creating a video. If you guys noticed from the beginning, how to educate your dog to sit. It's pretty simple. Uh, you could just do it with a treat, but that video is going to come uh, soon to you guys. We're going to give you a tutorial on exactly how you uh, can start teaching your dog to be educated and following your lead. But all right, guys, so there goes her, her little food. Can By the way, this is down? organic um, virgin coconut oil. Isn't she the cutest little baby ever? She's a lilac, by the way, guys. Meanwhile. Here you go, Mama. Here you have it. Now she better go to town. She's going for the coconut price. She loves her coconut oil. Eventually. Is later. All right guys, so now she's nice and full. Um, after she eats, we keep a really close eye on her. Uh, dog's digestive system is obviously different than a human. Um, so sometimes it could be like an instant poop. <laughs> um, but we usually take her out about 10 or 15 minutes after she eats and then for now, like if she's inside, we're just gonna keep a close eye on her um, to make sure there's no accidents. Yeah, guys, and then just remember, man, the more attention that you pay to your puppy, the, the more well-educated it's going to be, the better it's going to react. So you need to make sure that you are interacting, taking them on the car rides, because uh, at the beginning she was extremely scared of the car, now she's uh, extremely comfortable. So you got to make sure that you put her on a uh, schedule and you are very consistent with everything that you do. She's gonna make mistakes because she's a puppy, but ours is extremely smart, and if you care for her, you see that every day she starts doing better and better. Earlier, that was my mistake. Did I just step on dog shit? Yeah, I did. Oh, shit. It wasn't really, she hasn't pooped on our, on our carpet, knock on wood, and she's only peed one time in the, in the floor, and that was kind of our fault that we didn't take her out right on time. But other than that, she's been doing, uh, really good so with that being said guys make sure you like share subscribe comment below what you want to see next we're going to be bringing her whole little journey uh with you guys when we bathe her what kind of stuff we use um how to give her commands and teach her how to sit which we already did and it took me like literally how long did it take 10 minutes oh yeah she got it down the first time and then the second and third time was she's literally just i don't even it. gotta tell her she knows the treat is coming in Yep. She sees stuff. Right. Coming in. Yep. She sees stuff. Right. So by the way guys, we're, we're kind of learning this process with you guys. Um, we've done our research. We're, you know, making sure that she's getting her checkups. And like you said, uh, we're just waiting on the, um, on the results now for the allergy testing to make sure that everything's good. Um, but you know, we are going to keep doing research and see what works for her, see what works particularly for Frenchies. So if there's anything in particular you guys want to learn, even if it means us learning with you or us kind of figuring it out and then, you know, providing a video for you, we'd be happy to do that because, you know, she's, she's like a, she's just a priority now. So we have to make sure that she's good and, it, and you know, we can have a little fun with that. So. I'm going to say bye. Bye. Peace.